Hi, Rick here from Rick's Camper Van. In this video, I'm going to show you how to drain the water from your Adria Twin uh, for winter storage. So the first thing we want to do is we need to uh, open all the taps so when the water is draining out of the system, you don't get any air locks. But the first thing we need to do is we need to turn all the taps off. So the first thing you want to do, if you come back to your control panel, you want to click onto the water. So just now, that will no doubt have the taps coming on. It does. So we just want to toggle our wheel to switch them off. So that's that one. And of course, we want to remember to do the one in the bathroom as well. Then coming into the storage area, your garage. Um, in, this is a, a 2022 Adria Twin Sport. So what we want to do is come to here to the fresh water tank. Open up the valve completely. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can hear running water now. So that will be draining out from underneath the van just now. So that's the first one we want to do. Then coming over to the uh, centre area, there's another hatch under here. Just want to peel all this back. Just toggle the wee switch there. Lift that up. And then you can see you've got two levers. Now these don't twist, they lift. So there's one. There's the other, and you'll probably hear some more gurgling noise, which is coming from the bathroom. So that's that open. And then moving across, I'm just gonna lay you here to the uh, lounge area. Wanna drop our seat down, and then lift up under here, and then going in deeper, there's another hatch here, which I just need to jiggle around. And then, I don't know if you can see this because it's quite dark. See the little yellow lever? Open that. Uh, and I believe that's the one that goes into the boiler, which allows that to drain away as well. That's obviously super important. You don't want to wreck your boiler. But it's also worth remembering uh, to turn your gas off if you do leave it on. I do leave mine on all the time. The reason is you want to turn the gas off. If your boiler's on frost protection, it could end up firing up to keep warm. So that's open the now, going down. And then that's that. Now, I don't know if we go outside, you might still see the water draining out. Hope we can hear it. There you go, draining from there. And also draining from under there as well. Also, it's worth remembering uh, that if you're obviously you've got your chemical toilet you might as well take the chemical toilet out and completely do that as well so this is what i do when i drain uh, my system and it's what i was told by the dealer and it, i've already uh, because i use my van over the winter for skiing i'm constantly dumping the water and then refilling it so um so far so good i've not had any issues at all what you will probably find as you can see now my boiler's in frost protection what you will find you'll end up with an exclamation mark because what's going to happen is the boiler is going to fire up um but as there's no gas it's going to trip out the reason why that'll happen is um you can if you want you can completely power down the panel which will stop the boiler from firing up however um i like i've got solar and i like the solar uh to um top the battery up um, as I go, it's not on just now because it's obviously winter, it's dark, but you do actually get days where it's bright enough in the winter uh, to provide some charge to the battery. Rather than having it plugged in all the time, you usually tend to find that'll go like plus one, plus two in the winter, and it's just enough to keep the um, the boiler topped up. Um, if you've got a better way of doing any of what I've just done, or if there's anything that I've missed, because I'm new to this, although I've had camper vans for 10 years, uh, they've been much simpler. I've not had anything quite as grandiose as the Adria. So if you've got any hints or tips just pop them down in the 
uh, the uh, comments and I can always do a follow-up video. Thank you very much for tuning in. Bye.